hitting me with bindings. What? That's what I was looking for. Oh, you're gonna try to kill us? I've got magma form now. I am the burn. I'm in a burn like when I pee. We let it go last week by playing the perma slow Lux build in the top lane. Appreciate those of you who got that Frozen reference. But what's a bit of ice without a bit of heat? Time to set fire to the top lane without even playing Brand. I'm happy to announce that this video is sponsored by U.GG. U.GG is the best website and the only one that I use to find out everything you need to know about any champion in League. Just type in the champion's name and you'll find the best runes and builds at any rank. U.GG also has a section of pro builds where you can see what the professionals are doing on your champion and how they play against different matchups. You can even see different lane opponents and the percentage win rates for your champion so you can make the best decisions going into each game. So before you get into game, check out U.GG's link in the description below and go into each game knowing how to win. Now, let's burn the rift to the ground, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Swigger, that of course is Lola, and we are back with another League of Legends video. But once again, not just any League of Legends video, it's another Will It Lux. And as you guys might have known from the last Will It Lux, we played the Perma Slow Lux build, where I built nothing but slow items. Um, I'm a little bit late to this game because my OBS was screwing up, so I might miss the first few minions here, which is kind of annoying. But um, <laughs> I can't really complain about it because at least I got the recording started. But um, we're going for something just a little bit different this time. We went for the Perma Slow build, but now we're going going for the perma burn build so there's not unfortunately six items that you can build um, that allows you to get like a six item full burn build um, but there are definitely some ways that we can make a really fun burn build so we're actually gonna go for a sunfire cape um, and Leandri's torment as our main items we've also gone for ignite because that's of course the burn um, summoner spell um, but then in terms of our runes, we've gone for Meteor, but the main thing is that we've gone for Scorch, because once again, we are burning people. Um, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. I think it's going to be pretty fun, actually. Um, my damage should be pretty good. Can you just, can you, can you piss off? So, I'm facing a Quinn, which is very, very annoying. Um, especially as somebody a little bit squishier, like a Lux. Um, Quinn does a pretty damn decent job. Um, because all she really has to do is, um... Where there is shadow, I will bring light. Okay. Because all she really has to do is, like, vault on me and auto-attack. She gets that electrocute, and there's, like, half my HP. So, definitely something I gotta be slightly concerned about. Boy, I'm just not really... Landing my cues, apparently! Our enemies could be anywhere. Okay, I just wanna know that I have vision of her in there. Oh, come on. At least, okay, at least we got her. We got her. As long as I get her, I'm more okay with that. I really thought that my uh, my proc for my passive was going to do a little bit more damage than that, but unfortunately it didn't. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, Sunfire Cape on Lux. It's a good feeling. <laughs> It's definitely where you want to be. <laughs> it's going to be such an ugly build. But Sunfire Cape, I think, is going to be interesting. And then we're going for Leandri's Torment. Um, after that, I'm not entirely sure what to do. We also went Presence of Mind and uh, Coot de Grasse. I'm going to try to say it like that. Probably still going to be made fun of because I'm saying it wrong. But then we went CDR, Ability Power, and Additional Armor because we are, of course, going up against a Quinn. But in terms of who we got in the game, so Quinn versus my Lux top. Trundle versus Vi in the jungle. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even get that. What? Um, and then we've got Silence versus Velkaz in the mid lane, and then Jin Morgana versus Kaisa Sona. Um, so definitely some interesting lanes. Um, I'm terrified of Quinn. Um, just because she does have that ability to really, really snowball pretty damn hard. Because when she starts getting mobility, she just starts roaming like nobody's business. Um, and there's not really a lot that I can do, especially as a Lux. Um, there's not really a way that I can follow her. I hate that I auto-attack that. Um. 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure Quinn just put a ward down. Oh, you wanna you wanna face the burn build? Are you kidding me? You don't know what you're getting yourself into, Quinn. You don't know. Defend yourself. I am your worst nightmare. I am the burn lux. Except I'm I'm only good when I hit my abilities, which happens very infrequently. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get that. Damn, I was really hoping for something a little bit more than that. My my freaking Q just barely missed that Quinn. Um, because she vaulted. Um, but it was a good time for Trundle to be here. A candle in the dark. A okay. in the world. How does that not hit her? Come on! That is just BS. Absolute nonsense. She was right on top of that thing. Ow. Back to the shadows. Okay. So once again, we're just trying to do as much damage as possible. She does now have her um, ultimate, so she's going to get that Valor. The good news is that Valor actually costs a decent amount of mana in the early goings of things. So she can't just kind of like spam that thing out and try to get harassment off on me. But, you know, it's still going to be a little bit tricky because I'm basically out of mana entirely. Why did that minion move right then? Oh, that's such a piss off. No, I'm missing everything. Oh, there we go. Okay, so 35 to 37. She's still beating me in farm, which kind of sucks. But the one problem I'm going to find about this build is that normally you build a lost chapter on uh, Lux just because she is a little bit mana intensive in the early goings of things. But since I'm going the uh, the burn build, I can't really build um, the lost chapter because it's just not part of the build. Um, okay, let's just do that. Um, you know what? Fuck, I actually don't want to get two of these. Let's finish this off. And unfortunately, we just have one pot. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Um, so far, lanes are going pretty well, especially Velka. Velka is just dumpstering right now. Oh, and he went back in. Not smart. Okay. So Trundle's ahead, Velikaz is really ahead, bot lane's suffering a little bit, and it's kind of even up in the top lane. Not I even even, it. but like she's winning a bit, but you know, I'm... she doesn't know my lucks though. It, it'll it'll get better. Don't worry, just just wait until the burn build really kicks off. Cause it will. Ah, there it is. Woo! Thank goodness we got that one. And look at that. Now we got our bomby cinder. We're so strong. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing ever. No, I just have to like stand in minions. We're going to be a melee champion now, guys. I don't know if you've ever played Lux like this, but we're playing her as a melee champion. We got to get in there. Get those burns off. Oh, I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Oh, you do not need my help. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, that was that was a little bit of damage, I gotta say. That's the thing about Trundle Man. Like, I feel like he's such an underrated champion. That guy is so damn good. Um, and the later you get into the game, just the stronger he freaking is. Okay, so I've got my ultimate up now. Okay. So we are playing the burn build, so we gotta go fire. I wanted to play the Battle Academia Lux, but... Oh, what, you think you could just walk up to me? You think you could just walk up to Lux? Ready to get burned? Okay. So I'm just trying to kind of poke her down a little bit. Every little bit that I can do helps. Okay. Get 
What? <laughs> oh, that was it. Just the flash in. That was exactly what I was looking for there. So it was just basically, I knew that she was so close to the wall that she couldn't really escape it. So it was just flash Q, get my ultimate off, and she was dead. Um, she's back up in like three seconds, but I don't think she's going to be back in time to prevent me from getting these minions into this turret. I just wish I could CS, you know, that would be really, really nice if I could get any form of CS, but 59 to 62, but we're 3, 1, and 0. The current score, 4 to 8, so not complaining too much yet. I'm still doing quite a bit of damage, even though I have absolutely no AP, but there we go. Sun, Sunfire Cape has been completed. Which, <laughs> I still don't feel very confident in this, but at least now, after we've got that, we can start building our Leandries. Or Leandria. <laughs> there we go, Leandri's Torment. That's gonna come up next. That's a big item for us. Um, Quinn is currently down in the bot side. I have absolutely no idea why she's there because the dragon's gone. I think they might be looking for maybe a dive on the, the bot lane or something like that. They're definitely looking for a dive on the bot lane. So I've got to use this time to try to push this lane in as much as humanly possible. Um, the thing is, Quinn is gonna get back up here in no time at all. So... Not the most ideal situation. Um, okay. But let's at least get these minions underneath the turret. Like, if, if it was just one kill for another, like, plate, I'm not considering that as, like, a total loss cause. But I still don't like the fact that Quinn's getting kills. Because Quinn is Quinn. She is very, very annoying. Ooh, man, the Morgana's on a rampage, though. Okay. So the problem is, too, Morgana's really good into a Lux because she can just black shield most of my damage. Ow. Ow. Ow! Oh, and it was enough! You're going to come into my lane and try to harass me out? No, 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 no. Not the burn Lux. That just doesn't happen. Because I have armor. Oh, my God. Not good. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, that was so much damage so quickly. Okay, well, we got two ultimates out of them. Kind of unfortunate that it had to come to that, <laughs> but, but it did. But so far, this is actually working pretty... De I'm debating, do I want to go Sork Boots first? I want to go Sork Boots first. Let's, let's do that. Um, I just feel like I need that extra little bit of movement speed. The Magic Pen is also really good, so... Um, it's going pretty well so far. Like, Quinn is trying to go a little bit more aggressive on me, which she should, but... If I land my combo on her, I'm still doing an insane amount of damage, but what's really helping me is... Having that early Sunfire Cape and that extra 60 armor is, is pretty damn helpful. Um, she's just not doing as much damage as she wants to do. Like, normally I would think that Quinn should have a couple kills on me, but since I did rush that um, Sunfire Cape, she's not really able to do the damage that she wants. Oh, God, yeah. That's unfortunate. That's what Quinn does, though. Okay. So the dragon is coming up pretty soon. I want to see if I can maybe find this Quinn somewhere. Nope, can't. Hmm. Okay, Quinn's actually still in mid lane, which is kind of weird. Um, okay. So I think, once again, I'm just back to pushing. Um, if they want to send multiple people up here, that's fine. But I've almost got the first... Oh, it's not even the first turret of the game. We already got first turret mid lane. So who even cares? But turrets are turrets. That's how you win games. You take the turrets down. I know that I have Trundle near me, so I'm feeling a little bit more confident. Oh, how did that not hit? Man, I hate getting blinded. Holy. And it lasts for so long. Okay. So we know where everybody is, basically. And they are putting a lot of freaking wards down. Okay. My emotions are I want to know where this team is coming from. Ow. I 
I think she but oh god she is not good no 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 do damage I tried to do as much damage as possible but it just wasn't enough <laughs> Damn, we didn't have Velkos ult either. Man, if we had Velkos ult, we'd just like line three people up for a huge play. I really didn't think the Vi was there. Maybe that was just my mistake. I thought she had already kind of like left that area, but clearly she didn't. And I just got caught by a Morgana binding and then just abused by that Vi ult. Vi ult sucks. <laughs> it is so difficult to deal with. Your team has destroyed a turret. <laughs> trying to find her ball. Okay, so we're 4-3-0. Oh. Not complaining about the score. Um, my CS is finally doing a little bit better, even though I have been god-awful at farming, but at least I'm now beating the Quinn. So at least we've got something to go off of there. But she's 5-4-3, but she's got 150 gold bounty right now, so Arson's I would really, really like to get a kill on her. Accurate, but ugly. And we might actually get this turret. Actually, no, the minions probably don't have enough. Well! Your team has bravo, minions, bravo, well done. Um, okay, so we've got everybody grouping up around that dragon. Trundle's currently going towards that. I feel like I'm just gonna push. You but I don't know where the Quinn is once again. Okay, we know where the Quinn is. So Quinn's down there with them, but I might be able to get a bunch of damage down. Okay. I think this is what we gotta do. They're actually not really like losing this fight. They actually did pretty damn well. They actually won that fight. So this is huge for us. And we're probably gonna get the dragon off of that too. So we end up going three and two and we get the dragon and I'm getting to split push this turret. I might be able to take it down. So that was actually a huge fight for us. Oh, this is actually just perfect. You're all just kidding. Okay. So yeah, we should be able to get this thing down. Quinn's not up for another eight seconds. And skabloosh! Nice! Okay, sweet. So now we actually have a pretty big gooey. Fire burns without remorse. Huh. Oh god! Get out of here! You're gonna touch my Velkaz? Oh, she didn't actually stay there. I thought the Morgana was gonna be in there. I thought for sure. Oh God! Do not make me angry. I just barely caught sight of that Silas. That was absolutely terrifying. Holy. Uh-oh. Nice. An ally has been slain. Where do you think you're running? Why are you running? Ow! Dick. Okay. So I got blinded and there was basically nothing that I could do there. Pretty sure the... Oh, God. Uh, what? Man, this hitbox right now is some otherworldly bullshit. We should probably just try to fight this, right? Oh god, I just couldn't do enough damage. I think we're still going to be able to clean up this fight, though. Oh, there's the flash. Oh, there's the ult! Nice! Okay, at least we got the Quinn, too. Uh, man, this has just been a non-stop fight for the past, like, three minutes. People keep dying and then coming back. Okay, so we're 7-4-2. and two. That was a pretty ugly fight. Um, I just kind of couldn't really find a way in there. I kind of wanted Trundle to stop the Rift Herald. I don't know if we even got it. We did. Oh, I got it! I picked it up! Okay, cool. So we've got the Rift Arrow, but now we finished off our Leandry, so now we've got our burn build pretty much set up. And now I gotta think of what I wanna build next, because these are the only burn items in the game. Um, there are damage over times, like Death's Dance and things like that, but those are bleeds, they're not burns, so I don't wanna go with that. 
Um, so I'm thinking Hourglass is probably going to be next just because going up against a Vi and a Quinn and also a Silas who's constantly taking the Vel'Koz ultimate, I think that um, having that uh, Zonia's Hourglass, the Stasis effect is just going to save me on so many occasions, I feel. So I feel like that's going to be the next item. Um, how much damage has the Scorch actually done? 374. It's not awful. But it hasn't been very great, I've, I've got to say. Um, but 887 from the Meteor, that's not half bad. But <laughs> currently the rune setup has not been the most ideal for this burn build. Okay, um, so I could go mid to try to drop this guy, which I think is what I'm going to do. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Fuck, man, he flashed over the wall to get me. What a piece of crap. I guess he deserved it. He ended up getting the kill. It was smart. And Quinn, once again, so fucking fast. She was top lane, made it all the way down here to get the last auto attack. That's so good. Quinn's just one of those champions, man. You can't be angry at it because you know how fun it is to play. <laughs> but playing against it sucks. But okay, so 24 to 20. It's still, man, it's anybody's game. This is a tough one. I'm trying to think. So who's doing well, who's not doing well? We, we've almost got the Magma as well. So we got to go top and get a couple more attacks onto this Quinn. And then we'll have our Magma form. Um, but in terms of who's doing 107 to 110. So still leading the farm game here. 104 to 87. 109 to 71. So we're winning in most places. Jin is a little bit ahead. Um, Velikos is kind of falling off a little bit. Um, had a really good early game, but is now kind of dying a few more times. Um, but with the Quinn being dead... Oh, he just missed his um, the Sona ult. So I'm actually going to come in here because the dragon is actually up in just a few seconds. Actually, it's up now. We should go down here. We should just try to push this thing. Magma, bitch! Okay, let's start getting some turrets, shall we? Now with my little friend known as the Rift Herald. How did that not hit her? Yeah, I really want this thing to get a final shot off. Good. Oh god! No, I still got hit! Did I just get ignited? What? I did. I just got ignited. Why would you ignite me? Did we get the dragon as well? Oh, we got the dragon too! Ow! Stop hitting me with bindings! That's what I was looking for! Oh, you're gonna try to kill us? I've got magma form now! I am the burn! I'm gonna burn like when I pee. Who? Uh. Out! Stop taking turrets. Huh. Okay. I think it's about time for me to go B. Because this Quinn could kill me in like one shot. I feel. My God. <laughs> These fucking alts are just not landing. <laughs> oh, why is it so difficult? So I'm going to go up top to clear this lane out because I feel like that's pretty important. Um, I'm going to sell that just to pick this up. I think it just makes sense. Um, it's been sitting in my fucking inventory for God knows how long. <laughs> Definitely not a point in keeping it any longer. But we're 9-5-5 five and five with 117 CS, 25-26. to 26. The Baron is going to be the next objective. Um, but that was a pretty good push with that Rift Herald. Um, we got the uh, the second tier mid lane turret, and we also got another hit on that um, inhibitor turret. So I'm hoping that we can turn that into an inhibitor pretty soon. Okay. Want to get this top lane pushing because um, I want to get their attention a little bit split. Because if they're focusing on the top lane, then they won't hopefully be focusing on the Baron. And right now, Quinn is kind of doing the same thing with Bot. They're sending a lot of people mid. Why are there so many people mid? 
Just sink this in the molten stone. Hmm. There. Kind of don't want to push too far out. Just because the Quinn can just show up at any point. And I don't know... What, oh yeah, there. <laughs> Speak of the devil and she shall appear. The Quinn is already on her way. So I think I'm actually so just going to get out of here. Let the Quinn do her thing. And let's see if we can maybe get a flank off here. I'm not sure if this... Oh god. Oh, I'm fucked. That was a really fucking good combo. Oh, man. Okay. Woo. We got everything off that we needed to. Holy shit. That was pretty good. And now we got the Kaisa and the Trundle. Bravo. Fucking bravo. That was such a huge Sona ult. So it was the Sona ult followed by the uh, Velkaz E and his ultimate. I managed to get my E and my ultimate off in that same direction. And when I got my Q, I think the Vi flashed over here. We still managed to land our Q on the Vi and kill her. And we also got the, um, the Jin locked down a little bit too. Oh man, so we're 10, 6, and 8. Definitely not bad. Um, it's definitely not the worst score I've ever had as a Lux. <laughs> I, fed, I have fed way more than this in other games. So Baron is still the next objective. We now do have our um, Zonia's Hourglass complete, which is awesome. I'm um, trying to think of what I want to do next. Like maybe... Let's go with the Rabadons, maybe. We gotta go Rabadons or... We could go for something like an Abyssal Mass that would increase the burn Magma effect of things. Blood. That's something we could I do. Spill it lightly. Um, but I think right now we gotta get a ward down onto this Shut Baron. Down. Oh, especially since they just killed our Trundle. If they killed the Kai'Sa too, we could be in for some trouble. <clears throat> okay, what's my cooldown on my ult? 46 seconds. I was debating if I should use my ultimate just to clear this wave out, but... I'm kind of wondering, if they're going to go for the Baron, I need my ultimate to try to get the steal off. Okay, let's go and stand in the middle of them. Let's use our Sunfire Kate, people. Okay, so we lost two people, unfortunately. Um, we know where the Vi is, so Vi... I'm, I'm debating if they've got this blue up. I really want to take it if they do. Oh, it is... This is really risky because the Vi is very, very close. She's just in mid lane, but I feel like I've got enough damage to take this thing down. Okay. And now I kind of want to take the Scuttle Crab. Because the fortunate thing is that since I did push up that lane, um, they now have to respond to it. So it's kind of given us time. So I got the blue buff, I got the Scuttle Crab, and now I'm going to head over to the Dragon. Try to make something happen there. At least fight with my team. Because so far, even without me, my team has been fighting really, really well. Okay, I'm keeping them off. The land will turn Get out of here. You thought you were gonna fight me? Lux? The burn Lux? No, no, no. It just doesn't happen. I give you the sensation of what it's like to pee when you have a urinary tract infection. That, that's exactly what this build is meant to do. Um, we could probably go up here. Let's do Baron. Guys? Baron? No? Baron? I think it's a smart idea because right now the Vi is still I dead for another 8 team. seconds and Silas is dead for 17. So it's probably a good time to go and take this thing down. Um, because they've also got minions in their top lane threatening their inhibitor turret, so this is just, I think, the best time to go for a Baron. Um, and I've got really big shields, we got Sona heals, so I'm not too concerned. This is just gonna be a very free thing. There we go! Okay. 10, 6, and 10. I like the look of that score. It's nice and fluid. Maybe we need to get four more deaths and no more kills, so that way we are 10, 10, and 10. 10, 10, 10. Which we all know is 30, because I passed math. Okay, so in terms of scores, 10, 9, and 9 for the um, the Quinn. I'm still beating her in farm, which is good. Um, 9, 8, 9 to 5, 9, 12. Man, this has been a bloodbath of a game. 33 to 29. Jin going for that patented multiple infinity edge build.
Um, Silas doesn't seem too strong, though. 3, 12, and 10. Definitely not a fantastic Silas. Um, so that's pretty good for us, at least, that we don't have to worry about him. Because, man, a good Silas is so annoying. Scorch but I think this earth. is probably a good time for us to start grouping up and pushing with this Baron buff. Okay. Okay, because we know that the Quinn right now was pushing. So I think we should just kind of group up and try to just push this thing down. Because with the Quinn still up there. Oh, get out of here. Oh, get out of here! Sometimes you just gotta make the play for your team. Jump in there and get those kills. I was going for it. GG, well played though. 13, 6, and 10, I believe, with the burn build Lux. Definitely a lot of fun. Not sure what the Scorch did, but we don't know if this build really worked until we see what type of damage we did. So in terms of our honor, who do we want to give it to? To be honest, I think Velkaz actually did an amazing job. Um, so I'm probably just going to give the honor over to him. Um, really carried the early game and also had some really good combos with the Sona as well. I was debating giving it to the Sona from that clutch Sona ult um, in that mid-game team fight, which kind of started swaying everything in our favor. But we definitely have to see how much damage we did because we did have that full burn. Um, we did go 13, 6, and 10 with 160 farm. We did get our S, which is awesome, against a Quinn, who would normally be a really tough opponent for a Lux. But in terms of the damage, what did we do? We didn't even come close to beating the Velkos. So 22,000 damage for us, but 34,000 for the Velkos. But we did end up beating the Quinn by about 5,000 damage. So definitely a fun build, definitely a unique build. Let me know in the comment section below what other Lux builds or Lux positions you want me to try to play her in to see if it will in fact Lux. But in terms of the overall burn build Lux, will it Lux? I think so. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.